What is up you guys? Welcome to another week of Top Gun 7's videos. This week we are doing NA RLCS Top 10 predictions. So we're going to kind of go over what happened during the trade window and of course my top 10. This is for the entire winter split. This is for who is going to San Diego in my top five. Uh, where I think they're going to be. Last week, we did do EU RLCS. So if you want to check out that video and see what I think, I will leave it on the screen in the corner for you guys to click on if you're interested in that. This weekend is RLCS first regional of the winter split. Before we get started going over the trade window and my predictions, if you guys enjoy this video or have enjoyed my previous videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It means a ton. I appreciate it. So what happened during the trade window in my opinion a whole lot of nothing rise was supposed to move to v1 uh to na in place of calm uh then calm was supposed to move to optic magic bear was supposed to go to question mark it was kind of all over the place you know and furia did make a swap with i think the club lost moving over to na Kayo moving back to South America and, you know, Dark Zero picking up ZPS, just Evo going to Dignitas. So we had a few, we had a few changes, um, but I would say the major ones were really surrounding Calm, uh, Magic Bear, V1, Optic, and Furia. Let's get into my top 10 predictions. In 10th place, I have Koi, previously known as Rogue. They've always been pretty consistent in making regionals. Uh, they haven't really been at all consistent in beating top teams. And there's a lot of talent in NA. And a lot of the teams are very, very, very close. I think the top even five through nine teams could all be different. You know, there's so many different teams that could be in the top five here whereas like i think with eu it's mostly the potential of maybe five or six in na i think it's the potential of about nine orgs that could realistically make top five koi just doesn't outbeat any of those other nine so that's why they're placed at 10. in ninth place and some of you might disagree with me on this some of you might agree i do have the south american team complexity when it comes to complexity they've had a ton of inconsistencies and i really just think that they need to prove more they haven't made a major i believe since last fall and i know they've added people to their roster but i just i think there are other teams that have just as much potential but have shown a little bit more consistency across the board and that's really the main reason for me that they're placed at ninth today and th that might change. I, again, I think what I feel the top four, five, six, seven, eight, nine could all be swapped. That could change in two weeks after I watch them. Uh, that could change after this weekend. All right. Uh, when the very first regional for NA winter split comes about, it's so close. In my eighth spot, I am placing NRG. I know we have seen a lot of inconsistency from them as well. And we really don't know if they have what it takes anymore. I know a ton of people are doubting them. I do think they have what it takes to be a top 10 team, most definitely. I think they have experience. Um, they have shown a little bit more consistency than complexity, which is why they're here today. Um, placing decently at Worlds. Placing, I think, 6th, 7th, or 8th in the last split. And... You know, I, I do think they have potential to be maybe 6th, 7th, 8th here. Um, if they made major changes, who knows? Possibly even a 5th place placement. In 7th place, this is an organization I really want to see take in dubs, but I just don't see them as being better than the other squads, and that is Optic. I think the trade window drama situation has likely really hurt his mental and... I'm not sure there's a bounce back from this. As you guys saw, they had to go through closed qualifiers this last weekend instead of making top eight. Instead, Complexity and Furia got there. And that is also another reason why they could even be swapped with Complexity at ninth and Optic at seventh. They could easily be moved around, but I do think Optic did decent last split. 
I'm hoping they kind of carry that over into this split. I am a fan of Rettles, and I think AJ is a fantastic player. That is their solo play guy. And I really hope that Magic Bear can regain mental and stay solid throughout the split. In sixth place, this may or may not be a hot take, and I will not apologize to Try House. I have had a few hot takes. If you guys saw my last RLCS video, I did have Vitality making top five, and I know that may not be a hot take necessarily, but I think a lot of people weren't sure about Vitality this split. Zen is not coming in until probably like mid late February, so after the second regional, I believe. And so people were really questioning Vitality, but I put them in top five. And here in NA RLCS winter split predictions, I'm putting SSG at sixth, not making the major. I don't know how that's gonna bode. I don't know how that is gonna go over. I have complete confidence in their ability to make the major. But at the end of the day, I think no matter the choices they've made or what they've done, they have still shown, they've shown consistency, but only consistently like top eight uh, when it comes to majors. And then of course, consistency, they've gotten top five since I believe the winter split of last season. But I have a few other orgs that I think are going to really be coming back with a vengeance and then a couple orgs that I think are going to stay on top, just, just without a doubt. In my fifth place, this might be another hot take. We don't know if they're done or not. I am putting G2 in fifth. Who would have thought that I would be putting G2 in fifth instead of first, second, or even third? I didn't expect that pre the 2022-2023 season. I did not leave Worlds expecting to be putting G2 in fifth and being unsure of whether I was going to put them in the top five at all. But I think G2 has fantastic team play and I think that can be so underrated in Rocket League now. You see very mechanical teams like Liquid just underperforming on a consistent basis. They have one pop-off regional and the rest of the regionals are quite subpar. They manage to stay within the top five, but with their lack of team play, I don't think they'll ever win a major. Whereas G2, they have a little bit of mechanical skill, a little bit of really, really good mechanics, especially in the likes of Atomic, but they have really good team play. I think that's what's gonna keep them in the top five here. Barely, but I think they'll make it. In fourth place, I have Furia. I, this is kind of my major wild card here. Um, like I said, last video, I kind of put Vitality top five and I put BDS top five as well. And this time around, obviously you guys saw how the BDS one went this last regional, but Vitality taking second place in the regional, doing quite well. Um, I just wanted to throw in another wild card like I did for EU, RLCS, and Vitality by throwing in Furia here. Honestly, I do think they have the skill. They've shown us that they have the skill to be a top five team. They've shown us they have a skill to be a top four team in the entire world, a top six team in the entire world consistently. And I think they're one of the teams that are really coming back with a vengeance this split. And I think they're super, super, super determined. In third place, I have version one. And I know I mentioned earlier Magic Bear being kicked potentially from Optic, well, was going to be kicked from Optic, and how that may have hurt his mental. When it comes to Calm, I feel he is going to go the opposite route. I think he's going to prove that he deserves a spot on the team. I think he's going to give it everything that he possibly has. I don't think he's going to question himself. I think he's going to give every single ounce of himself to this team, to this squad, and that he's gonna come out swinging and that V1 is gonna come out swinging. And I don't know if third is enough for them to not replace Calm, but I just don't see them above my other two teams. Currently speaking, I may change my mind again uh, as this regional plays out, as next regional plays out, as this split plays out. That may be something that I, I change my mind on as I see them play, 
and maybe they'll conquer these uh these top two teams that i have coming up next in second place i have phase when it comes to phase they are consistently a top four team in the entire world and there's no doubting it and i can't say that about really any of these other teams other than my number one prediction for this split i just don't see it happening i don't see these other teams being in the place of phase which is why i kind of have to put them there I, I feel like i have to put them at top two they did well at the major they did well last split and i think they're gonna stay on top i think it's pretty much a guarantee for them to be going to the winter major in san diego and my number one this is no surprise and i know things change but gen g showed their dominance on na last split they showed their ability to win against any and every team, both NA, EU, Sam, Mina, etc. They showed that they were able to beat the world coming out on top last split. I don't think that they're slowing down this split. And I think they're going to come out on top again for, for the major. I will say with this list said and with Genji and FaZe on top, I do believe that Rocket League is ever changing. And I honestly think it is going to be very difficult for any of these teams to continue to stay on top beyond this split. The meta in Rocket League is ever changing. The players are ever changing. The teams are ever changing. The environment is ever changing. There is no more era where it's just NRG on top year after year, BDS on top year after year. These teams are going to have to fight for these spots. But as of right now, I am putting Gen G at number one. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It means a ton. I do videos like this all the time. Uh, I love RLCS. I do drops. I do, I do drops. I do draft picks for Rocket League items. I do predictions. I do power rankings. I do all kinds of things. So if that's your vibe, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see maybe more of an analytical view i really do look at rocket league very analytically so if you guys want to want me to get into how these teams play and why i feel like these are the proper rankings for them then let me know in the comments below i don't mind doing things like that i also enjoy going over them in my stream uh twitch.tv slash topgun7 i'm live every single day nearly uh around 5 30 p.m to 7 p.m central is usually my starting time so thank you guys again for all of your support i appreciate you i hope you guys have a wonderful week enjoy rlcs weekend and let me know in the comments below who you guys think the top 10 teams are and who you think is going to san diego for the winter major thank you guys again and i'll see you next week